Well, it's Kansas' official steam engine, the only steam engine operating in the state, and one of just three working Santa Fe locomotives anywhere. But it's coming off the tracks and going into the shop for the next couple of years. Cake Stephanie Minichi went to Abilene and shares the process of getting the steam engine back up and running. The Santa Fe 3415 is 104 years old. Over the years, this steam engine has put about 1.8 million miles on the tracks. These high pressure trains need maintenance regularly. Every 15 years, you have to take the locomotive boiler completely apart, inspect it, replace parts. Smoky Valley Railroad President Ross Bowling says work on this train is costly. We're anticipating about $600,000 to do that work. Our goal is to have it done in time for the uh, 2026 250th anniversary of the United States. The train mostly traveled between Chicago, Amarillo, and Oklahoma City. It was taken off the tracks in 1953. It spent the next 40 years on display in an Abilene park. Then it became part of the Abilene and Smoky Valley Railroad. Bowling says the engine weighs close to 300 tons. He says a lot goes into caring for it. The locomotive has about 200 flue tubes in it, and those all have to be removed and replaced. We have to inspect the boiler. They ultrasound the entire boiler to make sure it's safe. Abilene's local representative, Scott Hill, introduced two pieces of legislation, one naming it the Kansas Heritage Railroad, the other naming the steam engine the Kansas Steam Locomotive. And both of those passed out uh, of the uh, House 120 to 0 and out of the Senate 39 to 0, which is pretty amazing given these times, and the governor signed it on April the 18th. Stephanie Minichi, Cake News on your side.